we'll use the camera to clarify this next part. Clicking the load cell button will open a window that allows the selection and calibration of a load cell, as well as the selection of a low pass filter to reduce the noise in the load signal. All the available load cells will be listed and the activated column will indicate which load cell is activated. Double clicking any load cell will activate it and only one can be activated at a time. The other three columns are produced automatically after a calibration procedure. To calibrate a load cell, click the calibrate button. This will open a new window where a calibration weight can be selected from a drop down list. The names of these calibration weights are usually written on the weight themselves or in the bag that the weight came in. For this method, I will click the calibrate button and then follow the instructions on screen. I will first install the calibration holder, being careful not to overload the load cell. And then I will place the calibration weight into the middle portion. The load cell is now calibrated and the calibration factor is always supposed to be within 5% of 1.00, so between 0 0.95 and 1.05. The second calibration method is to insert the weight directly into the load cell. For this, I will select the proper calibration weight, click calibrate, and then follow the instructions on screen. Always be careful when installing anything into the load cell. It's sometimes prudent to keep an eye on the load cell window to see how much force you are putting on the load cell currently. To remove the calibration weight, I usually keep one hand at a distance from the weight and then let it drop into that hand. The load cell is now calibrated. To calibrate a multi-axis load cell, we'll open the load cell window, select the appropriate load cell, and then click calibrate. To start, we'll use the calibration holder and install this on the load cell. We then install the calibration weight onto one of the sides of the calibration holder. Following the instructions on, on screen will give us a calibration factor within 5% of 1.00. The second method to calibrating the multi-axis load cell is to select calibrate and select a threaded weight and following the instructions on screen. Calibration weight will be placed into the side insert on the multi-axial load cell. The instructions will be followed on screen, being careful not to damage this load cell. And the calibration factor will again be within 5% of 1.00, as in from 0.95 to 1.05.